RSS is a really great alternative to bookmarking every site that you'd like to come back and visit at some point in the future. It's really, really easy to set up uh, your RSS feed, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do it very quickly in this uh, short video tutorial. Um, you've, I, I'm, I'm going to do this for, uh, for people who have a, a Gmail account set up or a Google account. Uh, because I use the Google feed reader, uh, it, there are many different RSS feed readers, but um, Google works fine for me. Um, I think to set any of them up is going to be very similar to the way you do it for Google. So uh, without any further uh, prelude, let me just get into it. If you find yourself at a, at a site you'd like to return to, uh, rather than bookmarking it, just go up here to the HTTP field and you see this little icon you may have wondered what it's for uh, it says uh, subscribe to this page so just go ahead and uh, hit hit that icon now do this when you have your Google account uh, open when you're logged in okay when you're logged into Gmail in, a, in another window as you can see I am here um, <clears throat> you hit the icon it'll take you to this page uh, subscribe to this feed using Google, which is what I'll use. Um, and simply hit the subscribe now button. So this takes you to this page. You are not subscribed to this feed yet. So just go ahead and um, hit the subscribe button. Notice now that your uh, the site that you'd like to return to is in your list of subscriptions. Uh, notice as well that there is a reader uh, area in your Google account that you may never have known about before. Very easy to access, obviously. Um, you know, you can have, you know, a lot of people have dozens of subscriptions here. You can put different subscriptions into different folders, etc., within your feed reader. Uh, it's just a, a lot faster to uh, to uh, access uh, basically every time one of the sites in your feed reader is updated uh, the the content will be pushed to your feed reader so uh, you'll see you know uh, unread posts will be shown by by a number next to the name of the website and uh, you, that way you'll you'll easily know you know if you have 50 different sites in your RSS uh, you know reader uh, which ones you haven't, uh, you know, have, have new articles for you to take a look at. So that's all there is to it. Uh, so happy reading.